Hey, what's going on, everyone? Um, it's been some time since I've been on the YouTube videos, but I uh, wanted to give you some updates on a couple of things. Um, I think it's been maybe, hmm, it's been at least a couple of weeks since I've put up a video or any type of new vlog, but um, hey, I'm, I'm back, I'm alive, um, and I'm doing pretty well. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, sort of use this video to share with you some updates um, on things I've, I've been doing, and um, I, I think you'll, you'll like what, I, what I'm going to share. So, you know, the first thing that I guess I want to share with you is a little bit about my experience with my, my trip to Chicago. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, I went to Chicago um, uh, during my spring break, which was about the first week of March of this year. And this was the first time that I sort of traveled by myself. Um, usually I either went with my dad or, you know, I, I was with uh, my family or whatnot. But this trip really was um, I really a trip for myself that I, I really decided to do. And, you know, it was a very, it was a very good experience. That's the first thing I'll say. Um, I definitely learned a lot about myself, about just sort of being independent and sort of, you know, coming to those sort of realizations in life and just about yourself. Um, but it, it was good, you know. And, you know, I, I really like, like Chicago. Um, I've been there. This was probably my fifth time um, visiting Chicago. But I got to say, every time that I go there, there's something really special about that city. And you know, I've, I've thought about it for some time. I've been trying to figure out, you know, okay, like, what exactly is it about Chicago specifically that um, I very much like? And I think I, it's, it's really, it's not really anything in particular, I guess, um, that makes me really drawn towards Chicago specifically. It's really, I guess, just the fact that, you know, every time that I, that I travel there, um, I, I discover something new and, and I discover something about myself that it, it's just, it's so eye-opening, I guess, um, for lack of a better phrase. But I really do feel like every time I'm there that it's like, there's like this, this experience or there's this, there's this one event, um, that really opens my eyes to just life and of, of, I don't know, just being appreciative of, of life. I, I, I don't know. Um, but I've, I've been, I've really found myself to really just enjoy Chicago um, and the city. So maybe it's just I'm becoming more of a city person. I don't know. But um, I've certainly enjoyed doing that. Um, but yeah, so this time around, I, I went by myself and I was there for about three days. Um, and, you know, I, what I've been doing, you know, with social media and influencer marketing for a, a couple of years, you know, I, I wanted to sort of push myself in a way, challenge myself. And so I, I did what I, I sort of have been doing for some time. And that is I started reaching out to companies um, to see if I could work with them. Because, uh, hey, I'm, I'm a college student. I, I, I don't have... A, a lot of money so um, obviously if, if you're a college student then you can 100% relate to that budgeting but um and I will admit I don't have the best um, budgeting and you know uh, money money um, you know sort of uh, accounting and and uh, sort of management but you know I, I just wanted to sort of you know see, see, see what could happen um, and so I started reaching out and um, you know, there was there was a lot of a um, lot of no's, um, but that was something that I just had to expect because that's the whole business of, of really anything is if you put yourself out there, if you if you ask a lot, well, you're bound to get some sort of rejection. Um, but the good news is that I got a couple of companies and I got a couple of brands to say yes and that were interested in working with me as well, and so. On this trip, I was able to actually stay at a couple of different hotels, um, and I actually ended up staying um, 
I didn't have to really pay to stay at these hotels, which was a very um, it was a very gratifying experience and point in my life because, you know, I don't know. It's just I I I really never imagined that I would even that it would sort of come to this that I would even remotely have this sort of opportunity to to I don't know get a free hotel stay or to you know to not have to you know spend your wallet when it comes to staying at a at a nice place but but I actually did um and you know obviously in exchange for that I I had to you know it wasn't just you know staying at a place for free and you know vacation time I really did have to you know um provide social media content and I did have to um you know when I was there yes I did very much enjoyed it but um I was also, you know, filming, I was um taking pictures and I was um really trying to communicate my you know, my story and my branding through the lens of these different companies and hotels. Um because that's that's really where I think the power of of communication and even the power of influencing, I think that's that's where it lies is, you know, how how do how do I communicate effectively and efficiently? to someone like you who's on the opposite end of of um you know uh, the technology you know how do i really communicate my story and who i am effectively to you and you know to add another layer to that how do i how do i do that in addition and in addition to that how do i um use a brand or a company how do i also include their vision and their you know their storytelling and you know their you know either their aesthetic or their their style or you know their their mission how do i also include that with my own voice while staying true to myself and true to them you know it's it's not exactly a simple sort of um you know sort of thing to do um i really do and i i try and do this with companies that i work with i i really do try and think about okay what exactly does this company stand for what exactly um is this company you know their products or what not like how how exactly are they presenting and representing themselves to to the world because certainly it it matters to me and it should matter to you but i think it's just important to sort of think about that because you know as i think about myself and you know who you know who i who it is that i am that i'm portraying to you and to to people on social media you know it's important to to think and 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 to really think of the possibilities and you know not just the consequences and the benefits but just to think of you know why why is it you know why are you sort of putting yourself out there you know what what's you know who cares i guess you know what's what's the big deal about you know putting yourself out there you know sharing whatever it is that you want to share what's what's the point behind that um and you know for me if you know if, if you've been following along with my my social media content it's it's really been about a journey for me and it's been a it's been a journey of uh understanding myself and and just you know that i feel um that it's in in a way a responsibility but also a very humbling experience to have the technology and the opportunity to share that with you So it's really been, you know, my experience and, you know, my whole social media branding behind um what it means to be a gentleman, but it's really been about that journey and what exactly does it mean? You know, is is there a meaning to being a gentleman? And if so, what is that meaning? You know, and how does one come to that meaning? Is it through being a gentleman? Because then you have to ask yourself, okay, what does a gentleman mean? and does being a gentleman does that have meaning or did it have meaning or yeah you know you know what i mean like there there's there's a lot of very interesting sort of rabbit holes that you know you go down once you start really thinking about um you know things like that and so i'm you know i'm sort of constantly sort of uh you know getting uh you know sort of going in loops and you know going down um trails of thoughts but you know i just think it's important to sort of uh to to make sure that i'm sort of being clear with that and my intention with this um 
But going back to you know my my trip with Chicago, um, it really was a great experience. Um, you know, staying at a hotels and um, it also was you know my first time staying at a hotel by myself. Um, you know, I didn't really have anyone um, to to sort of be with. So it it really was. You know, like I said again, I I learned a lot about myself, um, and it 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 gave me you know not just the confidence, um, you know that I could actually do it, um, but it gave me I think the self awareness that um, I think I was capable of doing, um, and that I think is also important. You know, it's it's one thing to have the confidence, but you know, confidence is something that I think can be easily misunderstood by the individual as ego um it could be misunderstood as even insecurity you know if if someone's too confident maybe they're they're doing that because they're actually insecure and they don't really know how they, they you know they want to show that they don't want to show that to others because insecurities is vulnerability it's weakness and you know no one wants to you know in some sense no one really wants to show weakness um because we, we are creatures, you know, in humans and animals, we, you know, we like to show ourselves as strong and capable, and and you know, being you know tough enough to sort of take take on life. But all I would say to that is, I I, I don't think that just ourselves alone is are capable of taking on everything in life, because you know, life. Has inherent um, suffering to it. It has an an intrinsic and a fundamental element of uh, of evil, if 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 you will, of you know of of suffering, of of things that just go wrong, of you know um, that it's not always going to be good. Uh, but anyway, I'm I'm getting on on off on a side 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 note. But um, you know, staying at the the hotels by myself, and you know. Going to restaurants and you know exploring the city, you know I I I enjoyed honestly every moment of it. Um, it really felt like I was sort of just in my element. I was sort of living living life, um, and it really it again it it it, it if anything it revealed to me um, of what life. You know what life can be, and and it, it 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 revealed to me that you know like also that you know life isn't always going to to be like this. You know, I, I, you know, life isn't always going to be grand and amazing, and you know, you know, going to you know just you know have at it and explore the city and have a great time eating foods and seeing amazing sights. That I don't know, it just it made me appreciate that in those moments but it also made me realize that those moments are um it's not all all, all part of life and that there's going to be an equal opposite of that with with life and so you know just thinking about it you know with chicago i i'm, I'm very grateful for the for the experience and the opportunity to go back again and i'm certainly looking forward to going back again um so that's sort of, um, I don't think I covered everything about this trip. Maybe I'll do that in another video or something like that. But I just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, I had a great time. I, and I, obviously I, I made it back. Um, and, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to going back again. And just one more thing before I sort of move on to my next thing. But, you know, this trip when I went to Chicago, I... Um, I had my um, my video stabilizer, which is what is holding um, my phone right now to record this. Um, so I had I had I had sort of my my uh, my video gear, if you if you say if you will, uh, with me during this trip. And I I wanted to just sort of uh, record as much of it as possible. So you know, in addition to creating pictures and content and whatnot on social media, I also just decided, you know what, I'm gonna I'm just gonna document. I'm just gonna film. I'm just gonna you know, try and have the video rolling and recording as much as possible. So I started doing that from the very beginning where I took the mega bus to Chicago. And looking back, it's it's been really just kind of neat to sort of think about, 
just, I guess, all of the things that I, I was able to do while I was there. Um, and I, I really didn't realize this until I was sort of looking back and sort of looking at all of the, the content and the footage that I had had. But, you know, I was there for Chicago for only three days. And when everything was all said and done, I had edited and shot and, and, and published on, YouTube, on my YouTube channel. You know, I had made about 10 or 11 videos and it, it sort of hit me, I guess, when I was sort of wrapping up my last video that, hmm, like, wow, I actually, I actually did this much. Or, you know, I, I actually, you know, I was sort of looking back and I was like, wow, I actually, I, I sort of did it in a way. And, you know, I, I say this not to brag and I, I you know, I, I never want to you know, just show off or, or, you know, say, oh, I did this for the sake of just doing it. I, that's really not my point with this. Um, really, I think what it, what it proved to me was that I was capable of accomplishing something that I, I believed in and, and that it, it proved to me that, you know, I, I could accomplish something that if I, if I put my mind to it, if I, if I focus and if I just did it, that I could achieve that. And, you know, I've, I've mentioned this and I think maybe one of my earlier vlogs, but I never had any intention of doing a daily vlog, you know, like some YouTubers or, you know, some people online do. And, you know, that's, that's awesome that they do that. And, you know, I, I sort of, you know, tried at it for some time. Um, but, you know, I never had, I just, I just never put myself in that situation or mindset of, okay, I have to, you know, make, I'm just going to start, you know, making a daily vlog or whatnot and you know I have to do it um, you know I did that for some time and that was great but I was just I was grateful that I sort of I realized that that at the end of the day like putting out a video each and every day wasn't the main reason it wasn't the the main driving force behind why I was doing that um, there was a time when I think when I started doing like the vlogs here on my YouTube channel that I did think okay you know I'm just, you know, I'm just shooting videos of, you know, whether or not it's I'm at home or, you know, I'm back at college or I'm, you know, even Chicago where, you know, where I was like, OK, I I shot some footage along my day in my schedule and I'll I have a video so I can just you know put that up. But it, you know, I, I was grateful enough again that like it didn't stress me out that like if one night or if for one week, you know, if I, I if I felt like, oh, I don't really have anything or I just just, you know, I just got busy or whatnot, that I didn't have that stress of like, oh, shoot, like, you know, someone's, you know, watching me and, you know, judging me and being like, oh, you know, you didn't put a video up, you know, to me, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, like, I know myself well enough that like, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I, I, I do this, you know, to share bits and pieces and, you know, myself of, of my life, but, you know, it's it doesn't really bother me I guess and you know maybe I know for some people it does but um, the you know for me at least right now I enjoy putting up videos and putting up vlogs and um, sharing you know you know snippets of who I am uh, every now and then and sort of on my so on my own um, on my own sort of terms but you know in the fact that I just don't really have that pressure of, oh, I have to, you know, do it every day or, you know, always have this consistency. I, you know, I've definitely sort of gone back and forth with that, you know, with regards to, you know, Instagram. But, you know, I, again, like, I feel like there's been times where if I don't post anything, then, you know, I just, it doesn't really bother me. And I know for some people it does. And, you know, for some people, you know, you can get into that mindset of, oh, shoot, you know, uh, I, I have to do it or, you know, but, for me, it's like I, I just I, I still enjoy the fact that we can share, um, and we can we we have the technology and the tools to be able to to share you know you know parts of our lives and and things that we want to share with other people and that it can it can reach other people at a very very quick pace. So for me, it's like I'm still in that phase of like this is this is awesome like this technology like there's there's so much um potential there's th th and there's so many possibilities you know i i just, i really i i don't i'm just so 
in a way, just sort of in awe and just excited to see, you know, how is the future really going to look now? Because I think that in recent years, we've already been able to to sort of just sort of accomplish and invent so so much and 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 in so so little time and that's that's i think what really astonishes me is the it just seems like the the rate is is so rapid now that we're just living in such a exponential time that things are just you know every day could be you know that new day that um really changes things so that's my two cents on that um but i should probably move on to another thing that i want to talk about which I guess is is related because it's about social media. But you know, I've I've done I've done a lot of thinking. You know, recently, um, you know, I didn't put out another vlog on here for you know a couple of weeks. But you know, again, I I didn't I didn't have that pressure, and I never had that um, expectation to put out daily vlogs and whatnot. So, um, you know, I I took sort of this time to sort of just think about social media and think about you know how I've used it, um, you know, I've thought about, you know, in what, what ways have I felt like I've done a good job sort of sharing myself, and I've also thought about, you know, ways that, you know, maybe I, I haven't, you know, shared myself in, in the best way, or uh, that's kind of an odd thing to say, but, you know, you know what I mean, like, you know, I think of sort of the pros and cons, and I think of, you know, okay, how have I, how have I used this, the, this platform, um, and it, it really got me thinking in, in terms of, you know, maybe I've shared this in some of my Instagram posts, but, you know, it, it got me thinking about, again, back to, you know, why why is it that I I use social media? Um, and, you know, it really sort of goes back to this notion that it's, it, it is it is an integral part of culture at this point that, that we use collectively um, to, to communicate. Um, really that's sort of and to it, it's sort of a new term in terms of socializing I mean social media mass media you know call it what you like but it's it's sort of the same um, term and notion and you know I thought a lot about you know content wise you know what it, what what should I really be doing because I think that there's within social media and in, in you know this space there's there's a lot of things that anyone could be doing and someone that's been doing influencer marketing like myself, there's a lot of things that, you know, I could be doing and, you know, quite frankly, I've I've come to a realization that I could honestly be making money, you know, and more money um, with social media and, you know, because there's, you know, there's a handful of, of influencers and, you know, other people in this space that have certainly made um, very successful and very... Um, well-established even businesses and um, careers and um, lifestyles and whatnot and I I totally you know applaud those people that can you know you know do that and go that route and I've thought a lot about you know what is my responsibility and just you know what you know again why is it that I'm even on social media you know for you know I could I don't know, I could just, you know, delete it, you know, you know, tomorrow and just not exist. And, you know, how then, you know, what would I, you know, how would I go about my, my, my actual life? Um, so, you know, it's, I've definitely taken some time to think about that. And it's, it's interesting because just recently I read that Instagram is sort of, and I don't know if this is official or not, but I, I read somewhere that Instagram is testing um, whether or not to hide the, the um, sort of like the the number of likes that every Instagram post gets to the public. So the only person that can see the actual number of likes on any any post is it has to be your own post. So you can't you know you can't look at other people's posts and see how many likes they get. And I was reading how that reading in the in this article that you know the, I mean obviously this may not be official and maybe this is just you know they're just testing it, but in the article, it basically explained that, you know, they were perhaps testing and trying to figure out ways to to make Instagram in the space a less comparative um, sort of place. Because obviously, you know, uh, with Instagram and with any, you know, big social media app, you know, the 
the things that we post and the things that we share are things that we want people to to see. And you know, there's there's you know, it's not it's not always、um, you know a happy sort of you know everyone's just sort of you know getting along. Obviously, you know. We want to see what we want to see, and we want to share what we want to share.、Um, th- there's really no other way of、um, getting around that.、Um, you know, it is what it is, sort of a thing. So it, it got me thinking of like, okay,、um, well, maybe what if, you know, ha- maybe if if you know this likes thing, this like count or whatever, you know, well, maybe let's say it it continued, and we can still see, you know, who likes, you know, how many the amount. Well, it got me thinking, and it—it it sort of—it was a good reminder for me. And it was, you know, well, let's say, you know,、um, if you know, if you could still see the amount of likes, you know, does that matter to you? And I, I thought about this for some time, and I came to the conclusion that for me, it does not. And I think I realized this maybe a couple of months ago, and it—it、um, it sort of. I don't know, just put a spotlight on sort of, you know, me as、uh, you know using social media.、Um, for me, it it doesn't matter. I, I really it doesn't affect me, it, and I don't I don't necessarily think it should. But obviously, I know that for some people, it you know it does. But for me, if ten people, you know, even take the time to like my post, that's you know I I feel like I've I've at least shared you know. I've at least sort of done my part in in this, and you know if I get some sort of post that gets you know crazy engagement or you know gets shared or whatnot a lot of times and gets you know a couple of, a couple of thousand, like that's that's great because it just means that more eyes and you know more people have seen it and decided to you know to to acknowledge that. But you know regardless of whether it's a little or a lot. The you know my my content and the reason why I put stuff out there doesn't change,、um, you know and and it sort of made me sort of think okay if if no one saw my content, you know would I still put out what I what it is that I put out and you know the answer to that is yes I I would because even if no one sees it the the very fact that I'm at least willing to. Sort of express and just get out, you know, of you know either my thoughts or my you know an emotion or just ex- being able to create and express. That very act is enough, because you know at least I'm not doing nothing.、Um, so yeah. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I thought that was sort of an interesting point and realization that I came to recently. But、um, curious to see if you know if. You know, if you've had similar thoughts, or if you've been, you know, sort of going back and forth with that whole thing. But I don't know. I, you know, for me, it's with social media. It's always one of those things where, you know, it it can be easy to sort of get caught up in what everyone else is doing, and you know, to say, oh, you know, I wish I, you know, I wish I was like them, or I wish I had this. But really, for me, it's I I still find it as it's still a place and a space. Where creativity and I, you know, I really do believe this. I think that、um, self-expression, and I think that there's there's still a lot that within this space. There's there's so much. There's there's still a lot of potential. And you know, my encouragement to you, and you know, even to myself, you know, that I have to tell myself is, you know, it's 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 so important that I guess you recognize who you are as a person and. Where your values and where, where your fulfillment and where your desires, you know, w- it's important to understand where that comes from before you sort of jump on to the phone and and you know start you know,、uh, you know, getting that instant gratification because I think it it can be dangerous if if it's the opposite if you know if you don't know where your values are if you don't really know who you are and you sort of. Go to the phone. You go to the social media apps. You go to that first thing, and you get that instant gratification that you know it does such an amazing job at giving giving you and anyone. I just think that that can that can be dangerous.、Um, but you know, I'm not I'm not here to I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to to say that you know 
you know, you're wrong or whatnot. No, this is it's 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 really not my my place. Not not it's not the person who I am, and I'm I'm not gonna do it. So you know, just just some thoughts. But um, again, just just my thoughts. So, um, and I guess just to sort of wrap this up, um, you know, sort of looking into the future in terms of content wise, and you know, what it is that I envision with this YouTube channel and social media. Um, I really hope to continue to share more of who I am in with with my life with with you with video um, and you know it would be great if you know down the line if I sort of um, do some more vlogs or you know whatnot and and to be able to you know show that side of of doing it because I you know honestly I enjoy doing that and you know that's the thing it's like I know myself to the point that I'm happy to take that risk of showing a different side of me because, you know, I, I don't need necessarily fulfillment or validation from other people to, to sort of, you know, judge my content. I, you know, I, I enjoy this. This is something that I just enjoy doing and making and editing and that, you know, if, if people, you know, if people don't really like it, then that's fine. You know, the, the, very, the very fact that, you know, even one person, you know, takes five or ten minutes out of their day to watch a video of mine, I mean, they could honestly be, they could be doing a million other things, and they could also be watching a million other different YouTube videos or just doing something else with their life. But, you know, the very fact that they, you know, stumbled upon or, you know, found my, found some of my videos, I appreciate that very much, um, and I think it's important for me to recognize that and to to always stay to stay true to that and to not you know stray from that and to you know to get caught up with the whole you know oh I'm just you know trying to do this because I'm trying to you know um, you know get famous or whatnot you know if you know if down the road if you know if I gain some sort of good following and whatnot that's that's great but if I don't then at the at the very least I'm gonna have um, sort of a documentation I guess of you know things along my life and I think that's actually that's definitely worth you know taking the time for me to to create content like this so um, I'm definitely going to be continuing to, to make videos and you know I enjoy being able to talk like this maybe I'll sort of mix it up a little bit um, and um, yeah that, that'll be fun but I'm also hoping to be able to make actually more music videos. I don't know if you've seen my latest vlog. Well, not this one, but um, I think it's vlog number 50. Um, and that's, that's really, I think, one of the first sort of videos and content that I, I feel like really does represent me and who I am in, in a very just sort of I'm just putting it out there sort of a very authentic um, just just it's a very real sort of content I guess um, and it's a, a video I, I, I you know I, I wanted I had I envisioned and I, ha I had ideas for for a long time and I wanted to sort of uh, record and I, I had someone else that I met in Chicago and and she was absolutely brilliant because you know the way that I envisioned this th this music video was I I really didn't want to have a bunch of details and planning. I just wanted to have an idea and I just wanted to sort of run with that. I just sort of wanted to say, you know, here's my idea and here is, you know, my 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 finished sort of product and end goal in mind that I want. But in between, you know, the beginning and the end, I it was sort of just I didn't really have a plan and I, I chose not to really have a plan. I just had you know an idea and then okay this is what I would want it to look like and then I just sort of filled in the blanks I just sort of said you know what we're you know we're just gonna see what happens and um, I, I really I you know I turned this person who was filming me I, I it's funny I might just make a separate video just for this but um you know I, I basically just sort of told I didn't really tell her tell her a whole lot of instruction but even with such little instruction um, you know, she was able to to capture and and to uh, I think really understand so much of what it is that I was trying to say. Even though, again, I I didn't really 
I don't think I really communicated a whole lot to of what I really envisioned other than, you know, here's the here's the video stabilizer, just, you know, point it at me and, you know, walk like this and, you know, point it like this. And that was basically it. Um, and, you know, there's like, you know, so many different factors and variables and things that could go wrong. And um, it just, it ended up really, I think, the way that I wanted to. And um, so if, you know, I encourage you, if you haven't seen it already, it's vlog number 15. I think it's titled An Expression of Life and Death, something like that. Um, but anyway, if you're curious, um, definitely encourage you to watch that. Um, and, you know, to watch it with headphones because I... I just I think that the music speaks for itself and really all, all what I was trying to do was just represent as best as I could with with myself the music um, visually um, and so that's what I sort of set out to do so I think that you know in the future um, I, I would love to to make more of that of more music videos because I think it's it's a combination of a lot of passions that I uh, of, of mine and I, I enjoy doing it and I think that it's a great avenue to express myself and you know hopefully you can enjoy it and understand a little bit about who I am um, you know I, I again I think it's I think it is important to say this but I really don't put out content there so I can get validated or that you know people can like it or people can subscribe or people can you know I and it's important just that I I'm, you know, always being aware of that because I don't want to get sucked into that, you know, whole sort of mentality. But, you know, I, I enjoy doing it. I, I enjoy doing all of this. And, you know, if if just one of you can at least take away something or, you know, if, if something that I share or say, if it helps you with your life, then I, I feel like that's, then I've done more than enough. And I, I, I feel like I've, I've sort of done my, my duty with this. Um, and it, it, it's, it's humbling, it's, it's very gratifying that, you know, even one person can, you know, again, takes the time to just watch my videos or, or you know, follows me and, you know, at least is sort of aware that I exist and, you know, you know read some of my, my words and whatnot. I, I do appreciate that. And um, there's really, I guess, no other way than just, just to say thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. And, you know, I know that I don't have a huge following right now, and that's not my main focus. But again, you know, I'm I'm grateful for this, and you know, we will see what happens in the future um, because you know, there's there's a lot of you know, it's it's endless. There's a lot of possibilities, and uh, you know, the, the path in life is not fully set to walk. You can you always have the option, I guess, of of walking another path um, and eventually I hope that you know it it leads to what it is that you truly want out of life um, because that's what all of us are, are sort of striving and walking towards so um, anyway just again wanted to share um, those things with you um, it is 1.30 um, in the morning um, it's actually finals week for me in college of my junior year so uh, yeah, I should I should be in bed or I should I should have been studying right now But um, just wanted to make this video to sort of update you and to share a couple of things so hopefully you took away something good from that and um, Yeah, I just have one more final so I should probably get to bed right after <laughs> I finish this and um, Wish me luck, but um, other than that, hopefully you've been having a good week and um, Yeah, that wraps up this video. So um, I will be back with another video soon, so thanks for watching.